Hello, my name is Karx82, and welcome back to our Animagna 2 Expert Mode series. I am just getting some of these things taken care of here because holy cow, is there a lot <laughs> of these different types of, uh, I think that, yeah. 235, 238, 233. That's totally annoying that I did that it, out of order. <laughs> Maybe I'll fix that. I'd much rather have it say 233, 235, 238. But uh, yeah, I just need to get all this kind of sorted out. I'll probably leave the the big ones in this chest, but all the little tiny ones will get uh, we'll get that taken care of. What does the controller need anyway? It's not too bad. Do we have, I don't know if I have any of those redstone. You know what? Let's just go learn it. <laughs> I'm just learning everything. Anything that has you matter, basically just learning. I may never even use it, but uh, yeah, we'll do that. So you may notice I did a little bit of kind of designing the base. Uh, just a little bit, nothing too crazy. I did end up moving the kind of bridge so it's more like uh more like straight it just looks a bit tidier than it did over the way i had it and uh it was a bit it was hard to some of the mobs were like jumping over the fence which was kind of annoying me spiders kind of kept getting in so yeah i wanted to kind of fix that so yeah that's kind of what i'm going with i I'm not going to go crazy with design. Um, usually I have been kind of spending more time on the Greg Tech packs with uh, getting a cool looking base. So I'll probably just do, you know, a bunch of glass and like this and then maybe do like a bit of a roof. But uh, yeah, I'm definitely not going to go uh, spend too much time on aesthetics in this pack. Uh, it just takes too much time. To be honest, it, it requires so much time outside of recording uh, that I just don't have to do that on two series at the same time. So yeah, um, just got uh, just crafting up some more of the thorium and I, or these RTG things. They're like I really I don't know. There's something about them I just really like. It's just totally passive. 250 RF per tick. We're feeding that into our matter fabricator and uh yeah it's like totally free energy basically so there is that now i do need to I, I still need to sort out since we don't have it hooked up like these are separate kind of power systems um it's just because that absorbs all the power whatever power you can throw at it it just takes so um that causes a bit of an issue with trying to have a bit of a buffer because that just empties out the buffer um, um, we could, the way to, if you want to, you could have it gated by the cables. So if I only had like the basic universal cables, then it could only pull like that much. And if I was producing more than that, then that would fill up. But I feel like just having two separate power systems is easier to be honest. Yeah. Obviously the scanner takes quite a lot of power, but eh, no biggie. So I'm thinking, I, I'm still trying to, I think I want to, uh, oh, that's right. I was gonna do, that's what I was gonna do. I totally forgot about that. Um, I'm going to, I was debating whether I wanted to craft up more of those bio generators. Where is the electrolytic? There we go. Oh, it's right over there. <laughs> um, I was debating whether I get more bio generators and with the, the biofuel, I may craft up a couple more of those, but I thought I would explore maybe a different type of power. But, oh, that's five, whoops. I thought that would only took uh I thought that only took six. Or I thought that only took four. So uh 
wonder what happens if that goes in there. This automatically outputs into there. I don't know what happens with... I'll just pull it out. Actually, I'm kind of curious. All right, that doesn't auto output that. It... Does that not... Oh, okay. So mechanism machines, if there's no recipe for it, it won't... You can't, like, shift-click it in. That's interesting. Actually didn't know that. I should get the... the thing on this. The, uh, tier... basic... what is it? Basic tier something? There it is. Yeah, I'm gonna throw that over there, um, so I end up crafting that. It just requires a lot of redstone, basically. Alright, there is that. Did we need some of that? And I think it was four, wasn't it? Alright, there we go. Relatively easy. It doesn't even require a... doesn't even require a casing. All right, uh, I need to get these also. I uh, may notice I uh, accepted a whole bunch of quests to clear those out. So I want to get those. Uh, let me do that really quick. Let's let's open all these loot chests. Fire mill, oh, that's a ton of them, that's a lot. Block of Electrum, that's cool, we'll take that. Part chest, I don't know if we ever, I never did get a part chest. That is for, I think that's for, yeah, if we have, not that, any, like, if I did, like, a stone thing of that, I could put that in there, or, like, a a pickaxe version or something, like, a, a stone version of that, I could put it in the, the parts. Any parts of tools, basically. Uh, I guess that was probably self-explanatory. All right, food, bone block. That's a lot of bone meal although i don't know with the forestry version of fertilizer i don't know if that's even necessary to be honest ice pillar more food wow 32 dense cables that is that is a lot of resources isn't that 32 of these so that would be what 128 smart cables that is oh that is a lot of that is a lot of resources that are in that that is pretty cool supremium watering can holy cow these uh man some of these rewards are like crazy it almost feels too powerful to be honest Maybe that's more like decorative i'm gonna throw it in there Throw those furnaces in there, fire mill, eh, we'll see. I don't know how much uh, power from extra utilities we'll need. It's basically like those, um, except they use, I think, lava. So those in there. All right, so we got those cleared out. Uh, electrolytic separator. Uh, I don't actually know. Oh, there's another thing. I was debating whether doing gas burning generator instead of just getting more bioreactor generator things. Uh, produces large amounts of energy from hydrogen or ethylene. Oh, you can, I didn't know you could feed it hydrogen. So that's why that was kind of locked behind the electrolytic separator. Um, I don't know how much power this actually uses. Um, man, this is so like... <laughs> This is not in any way, shape, or oh, any way uh, designed, laid out, like, very well. All right, let me just throw this down so I can see it. Um, yeah, I don't know how much power this takes to separate water. Basically, you feed it water, you get hydrogen, oxygen, and then we could feed that into the thing. Should we check that out? I mean, there's a quest for it, so why don't we... Let's do that. Now, this isn't the easiest, uh, but we did get the tough alloy. We can produce the steel casings. We have two of those. Yeah. I mean, this is actually really easy to, to do. Um, yeah, let me...
yeah, let me get some of this crafted up and let me figure out where I want to put this. <laughs> right there is not um, ideal. I think I'm going to break down this heat generator because remember if we looked at it and it's like, I think it's only like, it's not even like one RF per tick, I think. I could be wrong though. Yeah, it's only like literally like one RF per tick. That is like nothing. <laughs> Considering this does like 240. Um, all right, yeah, so well, let me uh, cut here a little back. Okay, we are back. So there is the gas burning generator. It was actually really easy. I had everything except for that core. We'll do that. And there is the basic tier installer. So I'm just gonna do that. Yeah, that'll just be quite a bit faster. And I do need to. Uh, get some of the energy things, but I'll do that. I'm running a bit low on osmium. Oh, actually, I have quite a bit of osmium. Must have been from the last time I uh, went mining. So, all right, uh, let me really quick, let's do these. Cup of coffee. Tesla coil. I have no idea what that is. Is it like used in something? Nope. I have no idea what a Tesla coil does. Well, I know what a Tesla coil does in real life. I don't know what it does in uh, Burst of Engineering. Um, this gets like a ton of saturation. Doesn't it make you? Oh, I thought it made... I thought it gave you haste. Um, Alright, so I think I got rid of that. Um... I feel like we should keep the solar generators because it's just free power. So that would be kind of silly not like why get rid of, yeah, the solar. Um, I think I want the be back here. We'll try this. Now I need to feed this water, I believe. The water goes in the front, doesn't it? And then the sides are the, I think hydrogen is in this one, oxygen is this one. Why don't I turn it around? And actually, let's move it one over. I gotta figure out, like I have, since I'm using, I have a feeling that's the power Isn't the green usually... Green's usually power, isn't it? I think. I'm assuming just any of those can be the input. All right. So I need to feed this water. Do we have... We got... Do we have... I think we got... Uh, aqueous accumulators, don't we? I feel like I remember crafting one of those up. Yeah, let me uh, craft that up really quick and we'll be right back. Okay, we are back and I was actually looking at the pump, the electric pump, and I think that's actually easier to craft up than that. I think it's cheaper. Some iron, redstone, yeah. But uh, these believe, they, yeah, these require power. So um, I think I'm gonna upgrade. I placed the aqueous accumulator. I think I'm gonna replace that but uh in the meantime i'm just gonna hook this up don't think i need a servo but yeah i think i can just instead of doing the aqueous accumulator i can just place the pump like right in front and that that will work i think um i crafted this up so yeah so there is that and do that. That was weird. Cause that's totally. Uh, that looks totally safe. If that was real life, that would be totally safe. Oxygen, hydrogen. Yeah, there's the hydrogen. And we're burning power. All right. Well, that was easier than I thought. Dump excess when it gets full. 
And then I think we can just do this, right? Is this easier than I thought? Is that not the power? I thought that was the power on the front. May is it just not am I not allowed to hmm. I don't know if this is actually I don't know if I am just not allowed like am I kind of not oh wait that's full that's why <laughs> ah, that's why that's why it's not outputting of course because it's full all right well that's just kind of like free power, basically. I think. I mean... Hmm. I don't know. That's using 120. Well, when this fills up, and this fills up, it'll turn off, right? Yeah. All right. Yeah, so I just need to... Once this fills up, then this will turn off. Um, I could always put speed upgrades and energy upgrades, which would probably make sense. Um, because it's our power gen, so we want to be spending as little power on it as possible. So energy upgrades would definitely be thing. And this does... No, this does not... This doesn't... Uh, you can't upgrade that, which that's pretty typical for the reactors. There's no... Uh, you can't put any upgrades in them. All right, but that was actually... Pretty simple. Electrolytic separator, gas burning generator with hydrogen. I'm assuming the ethylene is much, uh, you get much more power out of it. All right, fusion reactor. Yeah, we're not quite, we're not quite uh, there yet. Um, fusion reactor is pretty cool though. Um, requires like millions of RF to get it going though. So we're, we're nowhere near that. But, all right, so that is pretty cool. Now, I also want to, I was kind of trying to avoid it, but I think I'm actually going to set up a heavy auto sieve for some power. I should get these out of my inventory. Um, I was supposed to put that in the, the thing, but I totally forgot. <laughs> uh, that's, have the two cells to speed up the thorium. But um, the reason I want to get that is because I do want to craft up more of these RTG things to feed the matter fabricator. Like I said, it is pr it's just basically free energy at this point. Uh, it takes some time to get you get to it, but uh, once you craft it up, yeah, it's just free energy. And uh, in order to do that, I'm gonna need a lot of thorium. And thorium is not, the easiest to find uh, going down in that nuclear craft vein. I mean, I got a bunch of thorium, but you need nine per TBU. I don't know what that stands for. Thorium base unit. <laughs> Who knows? And uh, I could, uh, I'm just looking at this. I could, I could uh, give it some, infuse it with, infuse it with oxygen. And we would actually get better power out of it, but I'm not. I'm just trying to get the byproducts, really. Um, but yeah, there's not a whole ton of thorium. So I'm thinking if we set up the auto sieve, we can actually get thorium auto pieces. Auto pieces. Thorium ore pieces. And um, yeah, I'm thinking that. You can enchant this, right? And... I can't remember which... Isn't it like, not soul, but civ efficiency? Is it civ efficiency that's the one you want? Or fortune? I think civ fortune would be the one I want, right? I don't remember which one does which, to be honest. I'd have to look that up. Uh, but I think, yeah, I think I want to do that. Since I got this from a, a loot thing, it kind of lets me skip having to get mana infused. Uh, mana infused ingots so yeah 
I guess let me, I'm going to have to craft up a sieve or a mesh. I think you need one. Yeah, you need the one below it. We have string. Man, I don't have any string. I have, all oh right, I get it from the, uh, this stuff. I actually planted a second row. Pull more string. There you go. I wish you didn't get seeds when you break the top of it. Just fills up my inventory. All right, so yeah, like that. And then, was it flint? And then iron. I already have iron on me. And then gold, right? Isn't that? So there's the gold. And then I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we just need power. Is this the one that if you feed you feed food to it, it speeds up. Isn't that a thing? I feel like that may be a thing. Alright, so where do we want to put this? Also, I need... Can we, uh, the fortune... Oh, uh, not fortune. Um... The, what's the... Enchanter from... This. Alright, I can't get that. I just saw... <laughs> I need the thing. Uh, does this have civ efficiency? I wonder if I, uh... Man, there's a lot of... There's a lot of stuff. I have no idea what any of these... Well, Leech, I'm assuming, is, like, healing. Vorpal? I have no idea what Vorpal does. Reaper? Reaper is the one from... yeah. Oh, I don't see civ efficiency anywhere on there. But, yeah, I'm not going to set up. I was like, I guess I could set up a a thing. But, man, that do I hate vanilla enchantment tables. All right. Um, I also upgraded my Denknol to 512 items per slot. I don't have enough coal to upgrade it. Again, you need 144 coal, I believe, to upgrade... You need 16 blocks of coal, so it's 144. And uh, I need to go get more of that before we can upgrade it to iron. Um, but I did that because if we saw with the thorium, you need a uh, netherrack. So I'm just gonna go into the nether and just vein mine a whole bunch of netherrack and then we'll use that. Um, and see if we can get a bunch of thorium. Okay, we are back. Um, I also got some coal. I'm gonna do that really quick. Man, that is not what I wanted to do. <laughs> oh man, can I not put this back together? Oh, there we go. I was like, that would have been bad. All right, I'm not gonna do this right now. Well, I guess I will. And that's annoying. At least you could. Oh, yeah, <laughs> so annoying! So annoying! I was doing so well, and then I screwed it up. There we go. All right, I'm not gonna do that right now. But I want to upgrade the dank null to the uh, the next one. I did uh, go raid the that building over there in the village for bookshelves because um, I ended up just crafting a enchanter. I figured the the meshes can only have these three enchantments, so I don't think it's going to be that difficult to, to get. Did I put that too far? No, that's fine, right? Yeah. Isn't that right? Oh my goodness, I'm showing my lack of vanilla mechanics knowledge. All right, yeah, civ efficiency. I don't want civ efficiency. <laughs> I want fortune.
No, I don't. Can't you, uh, don't you, is that all? Don't I? <laughs> How do you reset the thing? I don't remember. Man, I am such a noob when it comes to a vanilla enchanting. Can I only have one? You only have one thing on there? Oh, well. All right, well, we got Civ Efficiency. Uh, not the one what I wanted, but... Uh... Oh, do I need to put, like, a different... I have an idea. Doesn't that... Don't you, like, reset it like that? Yeah, I think that's what you do, right? No? Can we not get more than one enchant on there maybe not i don't know all right so i didn't want that one but oh well we got sub efficiency i'm just gonna throw it right on the end of this i have no much power i don't know how much power this actually uh will take kind of want it there but oh well we'll put that in there uh, apparently sub efficiency is the amount of like ticks that it will like if you need, if it needs twenty ticks to go through the nether rack, civ uh, efficiency will lower that, so it only need like fifteen ticks or whatever. I, it's not ticks, but um, so I kind of want that one there. Oh, does it? It needs to be crushed, doesn't it? Um, right, crushed. The hammer or something, right? This. Right. This is a little more annoying than I was thinking it was going to be. Um, I guess I can just make the auto hammer. Why don't we just do that? That's easy enough. I am running low on diamonds, though. That's no fun. Isn't this... This is a thing, right? Yeah. Diamond hammer. Yeah, I'm running low on of iron. I'm just tearing through this. Two of those. Is that auto hammer? Oh, there we go. The auto compressed hammer. Actually, maybe I should have gotten that. <laughs> that. Uh, yeah, maybe I should have done that one. Oh well, but that no, actually I don't even have I don't have enough diamonds for that. <laughs> yeah. That's 18 diamonds. Let me do that and that. Alright, should we try this again? Nothing but the most informative and well knowledgeable content on this channel. <laughs> Do I need to put a hammer in there as well? That's a thing. But I guess we could. No, the compressed one goes in the other one, doesn't it? Mm. I actually now that I'm thinking about it. I could probably just throw this through a uh, pulverizer or something, right? Pulverizer, not the smelter. Like a sag mill. I don't have a sag mill yet. That's actually more difficult. Actually, there is no... I'm just noticing there is no... Um... Ah, it's that to that. Yeah, it's pulverizer. I don't have any thermal stuff. All right, I'm going to use... Just because this has the most... I should probably have this enchanted. Although isn't there isn't there like a, a tinker's thing you can I want I would want what is it uh unbreakable or un unbreaking I'll go I'll see it if it pops up in here but if it doesn't I'm not going to worry about it No I'm not going to worry about it All right, 
So there we go. That's just gonna... Man, that is gonna, like... I guess it doesn't use every single one. That is gonna, like, tear through that. Do I have a hopper? Anywhere? Hopper anywhere? No. Man, I don't have any hoppers. Oh, I have another rack right there as well. Yeah. And why are... Why are chests so annoying to make in this mod pack? I don't understand that. <laughs> like, why are vanilla chests a changed recipe? I uh, I don't understand that. Um, I don't understand that design choice in this mod pack. I know it's expert, but why that? That just feels weird. as I'm doing a modified recipe of a vanilla hopper. I don't know, chests just seem, that just feels even weirder. What is that, like, weirdness? I guess we could even throw, throw the rest of the, Another rack. It's easy to get, so I literally just ran in there about two minutes and I got 500 of it. All right, so there's that. That goes in. I is this a is that a heavy? Oh, it's a heavy sieve. All right, that means we got to turn it into that. There's ex nilio and there's ex nilio compressum. Yeah. Well, there we go. We're getting our thorium. That's basically what I wanted. Oh, hello. It looks like uh, <laughs> it's actually pulling more power than I guess the cables can output. I may need to upgrade the cables or just wait for this to finish. Um, does it say, I don't know, 128? Oh, that's a thousand. Yeah. I think the cables, the basic cables that I'm using, only use a... What? Where? Is this just... Is that... <laughs> is that weird? <laughs> is... Is it actually trying to do one? I guess it is. All right, hold on. Hold on. Before we wrap up, I just turn that off. Or did that? Did that? No, there is like one in there, isn't there? It just can't get enough power. Is that what? Is that? That is very weird. I feel like that's I don't know if it's actually doing that because look if you look at the thing it says 32,000 hmm that is can we see it no it like you can see it going down yeah that is really weird oh well I'll just uh what happens if I put or I need to wrap up here but uh yeah, so that, we'll use that to get some thorium, and there's other stuff we're going to get from that. Um, I should use, like, I could do, like, a whole setup of it. I don't know how much we're going to get into it, like, a crafter. We just do an RF tools crafter. I won't have to worry about that, but... No. All right, so that was just a bit buggy. There wasn't actually anything in it. Yeah, it's getting enough power. Or not? <laughs> I have no idea. I do not know. All right. Well, there we go. There is that. At least we got to check that out. Um, all right. So that's going to last quite a while. Two diamonds. What are we getting, by the way? Gold, ardite, cobalt, lithium, magnesium, boron, thorium. Yeah. Basically the nuclear craft stuff. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. So thanks for watching and have a good one.